This is alternative political analysis and this video will be on the subject of Ronald Reagan. The right wing's demigod, saint and basically they worship him without basis and without logic it seems. And let me put it to you how Reagan came across. This guy was an idiot. Like he had an earpiece where his special advisors could give him lines to say and there was one time when he had the earpiece on in the middle of doing an interview and he looked at the camera and said why doesn't the old bastard say something and that is what his advisors had said and he like a stump speech robot repeated it mindlessly and it is interesting to think that Reagan is the epitome of conservative thinking according to conservatives he increased the size of the US federal government in 1981 US federal government employed 4 million and 900,000 people in 1989 it was 5 million and 300,000 people so he increased the size of the federal government by 400,000 people he also doubled the deficit then uh, when the budget when he started his presidency was a r revenue of 599 billion dollars with expenditure of 678 billion dollars which ma means he had a 79 billion dollar deficit when he came in when he left there was a revenue of 909 billion dollars however the expenditure was 1.1 trillion dollars that means he had a deficit of 155 billion dollars so yeah he doubled the deficit and this was despite raising taxes 11 times in 7 out of 8 years in his presidency and in 1982 he presided over the biggest federal tax increase during peacetime in United States history and in 1986 he crossed the Rubicon it was the first time the super rich got tax cuts while taxes on the poorest people in the United States increased nice guy that's your hero right? and he increased national debt there's no other way around it in 1981 US national debt was 930 billion in 1989 it was 3 trillion in fact he tripled the national debt but this is the guy conservatives worship and it gets worse Osama bin Laden according to Ronald Reagan was a compassionate young man a freedom fighter a hero and when he made him a special guest of the White House he said we all pray to the same God but yeah 
a fellow ideologue of a far-right Wahhabi. That's your hero. And you know how conservatives love to crack down on illegal immigration. Yeah, Reagan gave amnesty to three million illegal immigrants. But this is your right wing hero, your demigod. He also broke US law to farm the the arm and fund contra terrorists and their death squads. Remember the Boland Amendment? Colonel Oliver North. Yeah, of course. Reagan's followers and sycophants still love to ignore that to this day. Also, this one's gonna sting. I love how conservatives and certain pro-life people love to worship Reagan. Governor Ronald Reagan signed the Therapeutic Abortion Act on June the 14th. 1967 into Californian law. This legalized abortion in California and note well the date 1967 that's good half decade before Roe vs Wade and Doe vs Bolton. So this shows you where his sympathies really lay. Also, as governor of California, he signed the largest tax increase in U.S. history at state level. So again, your conservative right-wing god, seemingly like a like a poor man's Democrat, really. Also, Ronald Reagan was rather liberal with his use of facts. When he first railed against the welfare queen, she had 12 social security cards, 80 names, 30 addresses, 15 food stamp phone numbers, and a tax-free income of 150000 Now, when we look at the real welfare queen, a lady by the name of Linda Taylor, she had three social security cards, not 12, 27 names, not 80, 31 addresses, well he was close enough with that one, and on phone numbers he actually underestimated it, it was 25 phone numbers. And Linda Taylor, she was brazen in her the audacity of her scam and fraud. She had identities of different races. White, black, Spanish, Filipino, and when she was an African American woman. And she is believed to have defrauded a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. It wasn't confirmed, not this matter to Ronnie, and she was convicted using four names, and to have, she was found to have defrauded $8,000, and she was jailed for her crimes. But Reagan continued with his liberal use of facts while rallying against Taylor yet again. And basically this time he said she was registered in 14 states and she used 127 names this time. Also this time there were 14 made up children. 50 addresses, that's an increase of 19 and that she had defrauded a million dollars. Now, do you think the truth mattered that much to Ronnie? Well, given his record here, I don't think so. 
Regan didn't alleviate demographic threat or prevent demographic change and this is apparently important, important to the alternative right but the Caucasian population in America in 1980 was 188 million 83.1% of the overall population in 1990 it was 199 million an increase of 11 million but 80.3% that's a decrease of 2.8% and the non-Hispanic Caucasian population in 1980 in the United States was 180 million or 79.6% of the population in 1990 it was 188 million an increase of 8 million but at 75.6% a decrease of 4% and dur during his time he also overthrew Thomas Sankara's Burkina Faso how did that work out for the Burkina Abbey of Upper Volta well anyone with a rudimentary knowledge of Burkina Faso knows it didn't work out too well also he helped his old friend Mikhail Gorbachev with Perestroika and this of course led to the fall of the Ostblock and the German Democratic Republic etc that didn't work out too well also this is another one that's going to sting Reagan fans he wrecked an agreement for multilateral nuclear decommissioning and basically when I say nuclear de decommissioning I don't mean energy I mean arms and munitions so yeah we could have had a world without nuclear weapons but thanks to old Ronnie we don't instead hundreds of billions of pounds are wasted on nuclear weapons we can all we can f all thank St. Reagan for that also I love how conservatives try to make an economic argument for Reagan when there's not one there to be made really real wages decreased while productivity went up in the United States of America and that statistic comes from the Bureau of Labor Statistics so while American workers were producing more they were not taking home more income despite the fact that they had increased their productivity and the top 1% saw a 90.8% nine percent increase in their income under Ronald Reagan and the source for that statistic was the Washington Post my point is Reagan was terrible he wasn't all that great please stop looking at him through rose tinted glasses he was an incompetent buffoon he was a tool but a tool America re-elected regardless but it's not like America hasn't re-elected other tools remember George Walker Bush